So what I have today is uh, a punch rig. Basically, I've got this gobi lure from Savage Gear. It's a 20 centimeter gobi. Uh, color is silver, and I want to make basically a stinger for this on the top and uh, rig it with a punch rig so it will have a weight right here on the bottom and uh, it will just drag across the bottom of the lake or river uh, with a stinger on its back reducing any snags that's my main concern snagging um, with my lures because they're expensive this at five pounds 49 it is expensive and uh, i'm gonna try this rig and see how it works so for that uh, I have the punch rig heads right here and uh, that's that for this. <coughs> now I'm going to make a stinger and I'm going to use the row 49 from Savage Gear wire. It's a 35 pounds breaking strain and the reason because the reason for that is because I also have wire traces which I made myself from the same uh, wire that I'm going to use and uh, with this let me put this aside I just need to make the stinger now for the stinger I have like I said the row 49 savage gear <coughs> a couple of crimps and uh, obviously you need a hook and I have a treble here from Esox it's in size 4, the lure is quite big, so size 4 would do on the back right here. And uh, this is an optional spike for the stinger plus a couple of uh, optional um, uh, tubing sleeves right here. And two little split rings. <coughs> now, <coughs> I want to make this so it fits perfectly on uh, the back of this. and. For that, let me just take one treble out. Say so the treble is going to be hooked on this <coughs> about halfway of this uh, fin right here on the belly. So I will think somewhere around here. So just by hooking that there, we have to take into account the length of this treble as well, plus a little bit, which is five mils of this uh, split ring and the head is gonna poke through right here in between the eyes right on top of the head and basically the length of it from one side to another it's about 7.5 centimeters and that's gonna, what I'm going to try to make a 7.5 centimeters stinger and uh, I'll take a piece of wire you don't need a lot of tools for this you just need a pair of scissors and uh, a pair of cutters and uh, crimping pliers right there so just a piece of wire here now some people might want to hit this the end of it or where you crimp it and all that but I'm just gonna just crimp it straight away so piece of wire, kept myself a couple of crimps. For this wire, like I said, this is 45, um, I'm sorry, this is 0 0.45 millimeters thick. So I'm going to be using either, uh, either um, 1.2 millimeters crimps or one millimeter thick crimps, but I'm going for 1.2. It's easier to work with. Now the split rings, you can put them on right now, or you can uh, put them at the end, but I'm just going to put them right now. Get the crimp through, like that. Get the split ring, bend it over, push it through. Like so. I don't want to leave too much space there. I don't need a little space. And then just crimp it. sure you don't catch the ring. Crimp this as tight as you can. I'll turn it and I'll do it on this side as well. And that's one bit of it. Now 
like I said, this I need it to be about 7.5 centimeters long, so maybe seven. It doesn't really five, half a centimeter doesn't really matter. Let me measure a bit. So right now, let me cut it at uh, ten. Makes it easier to work. Oops. Cut it at ten centimeters right here. Then I'm going to put another crimp on and get this split ring on and then push this through and we're gonna set the length of this. As you can see, I'm pulling. Let's measure it right now. It's eight. So I need it a bit larger. I mean, shorter. Sorry, a bit shorter. So push this through. Push the short end and pull. Let's check it now. together so that's 7 7.3 I'm happy with that I'm just gonna crimp this bit actually if you wanted to put the sleeves on you could so let's do that as well I'll put one here so I'm gonna cut this in half. I don't need it that long, just cut a bit of it. I'm gonna put one through, which is gonna go right there, and then put another piece through and keep it there. And let's redo this. These are optional, if you don't want covers, you can leave it as it is. If the wire just splits a little bit like that, just cut a little piece from it because it's long anyway. Let's measure it once more. It's just about seven. So I'm going to hold this and pull the longer side another little bit just want to make sure I'm doing it the right length that's about it and I'm gonna clean that now Doing it on both sides. And now to heat up these, just use a lighter, or a source of heat underneath, nice and slow. So the crimp nicely on one side and then this other side. So that's the main bit anyway. Now on one side I'm gonna go and put on this treble hook. Open the ring. I could have done this before putting the ring on, but really it's the same thing. You might find it easier to do it before you put the split ring on and just add them both to the wire. So 
that's my stinger. That's the stinger right here. And now you could either use this, your own uh, split string right here, but the sandwich gear punch rig heads they come with their own split rings right there. So you might want to use that one, in which case remove the split ring provided and uh, it's sting, it's, Stinger is going to have one anyway on. But you remove this and you use this one. It's quite strong. So first of all, let's put this on the gobby shed. Anyway, put this on. You'd put the head with the hook part facing the back of the shad, like so. Just in case you want to attach a treble here as well. I don't. So push this through until it comes right there in between like the eyes of the fish. Measure it through the middle, push it through and there you have it. That's out there and this is on the bottom. It's going to provide this kind of a movement for the fish in the water. Now for the split ring, let's add this. Turn it around at the same time I'm going to add a stinger to it. So just one movement, so I don't need to open that string again. And that's that. And this is going to go on the back, like so. It reaches just about half the way of this. Optionally, I'll show you that in a sec. You can add one of these. This is just a stinger that I've um, cut down. It's from Westin. So if you wanted to add this in the middle just to keep this trace down like so, you'll add it right here in the middle of the fish. So put this through. That's on right there. And arrange this a little bit, make it nice and neat there. There. That's what this is going to come. And let's hook this there, like so. And then push this through. And then, if you wanted to. Just remove this and stretch it a bit more. Like that. And now, <coughs> a wide try switch I have. It will just by using a snap link again this is a, a trace I made using the Savage Gear 049 steel wire uh, a strong Savage Gear snap link right there and a shovel at the end so this snap link is going to attach there and when you pull through the water, it's not going to pull on a stinger, it's going to pull on this uh, rig head there. So that's how it's going to pull through the water. And hopefully you'll get a bite. And hopefully I'll get a bite. And this is it. That's I never made one of these before. That's my first one. It's not that hard. But 
obviously. Have a look in the description if you want to buy them already made. There's a few available.